Hi everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to assemble this new um, pop-up card. But before we get started, I wanna show you some projects that I've been working on. I'm really excited about these. I've really been into bees lately. They're really popular and I've done some for my tiered trays and just so I love the bees. So I wanted to show you some projects that I've done. A couple of these are a little bit older. You may have seen them already, and then I'll show you the new ones. So first off, I have this B shadow box card. So this is five and a half by five and a half. It fits a six inch envelope, and it comes flat. You can mail it flat either direction. And then when the receiver opens it up, they can pop it open and display it. And it also has a spot on the back so that you can write a message or share a sentiment or anything with that. So that is the Beehive box card, shadow box card. Next up is the double pocket card. These have been really popular. Um, and this also is an A2 card. It fits in an A2 envelope. And you just pull that up. And then you have your little bees pop out of your, your beehive and a little place to write a message. You can also put a message on the back there. So that is the double pocket card. Next, we have the Z fold card. These Z fold cards have been really popular. They're called a Z fold because they look like a Z. And you can just open that up and write your message or anything that you want. Sorry, there is a really bad glare in here. Next up is a very simple A2, layered A2 card. This is sweet as can be. It is also a vertical card, so it opens up from the bottom. And this file does come with the printable sweet as can be, or you can leave it blank and put your own in. Then we have the gate card, beehive gate card. So this one you just slide the belly band off. And you can open it up and have your message or whatever you want in there. And then I've also done a little favor box. This is called the Honeycomb Basket. It's hard to show you on the camera, but it's just a little basket that you can fill with treats or candy, homemade goodies, whatever. It does come with a little tag that you can add your own sentiment to. And then the last one, the one I'm going to show you today is the pop-up box. The pop-up boxes have been really popular. And so what they are is they fold flat like this so that you can mail them. And I do have an envelope that these will fit in that also should be listed. And this card should be listed in the next couple of days. And then when you get it, you just push the bottom and pop it open and it will sit on your desk or your mantle or whatever to display it. So I wanna show you how I assembled that box. It's been, it's a little different than some of the ones that you've seen before. And so I wanna go ahead and show them to you. Let's get started. And I will just show you the pieces as we go along. So the first thing is you're going to have a front insert piece with your layers, a middle insert piece, with your layers and a back insert piece with your layers. And they have a B, an M, and an F cut out of them so that you'll know which pieces are which. And then you'll have your base card and it says front and back and that B is backwards and that is correct. And then you'll also get some decorative panels and I have already glued those on. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna do the layers pieces first. So let's start with this first one. There are some tiny pieces on here so that it gives it a little bit of um, detail, is what I'm trying to say. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue all these little flowers together. Maybe, the glue got all dried up. There we go. And you can cut these flowers out of any color that you want. On that other card, I did them out of the pink, and this one I'm doing them out of cream. We'll see which one I like best, which one ends up in the picture. Okay, 
I went ahead and assembled all the layered pieces so that you didn't have to watch me do it. It doesn't take very long, but I didn't want to bore you. And I glued them on the middle piece and the front piece. I haven't done the back piece yet. So let's go ahead and do that. And all you're gonna do is just add your glue. And then these pieces have the, um, the outline of them. So you'll know exactly where to put all of your pieces. And it's the same on those two with the flowers. I'm just gonna line that up. Okay, once that is done, then we're ready to move on and assemble the card. So here is your card base and it has a bunch of score lines. You're gonna go ahead and fold everything down. Now I already did it because I added those decorative pieces and it's easier to match those up, especially when you're working with dark paper if you've already had it folded. And then you're gonna take these hexagon type shapes and they also all get folded down. Oops, sorry about the camera. Just like that. So everything looks like that. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Then you're gonna lay this down flat so that the bottom pieces, the letter pieces, are facing towards you. And the first thing we're gonna do is this front piece. We're gonna find the piece that says F. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. And you're gonna slide it into this slot on the front piece. And you're gonna slide it so that when it comes down, the F's are both pointed in the same direction. So it looks right. Okay, we're gonna flip it over, and it actually looks a little bit better to do it on its side. So flip it over, and you're gonna fold it on that first crease, not on the tab, but on that first crease. You're gonna fold it over down like that. Okay, you have a little tab, and we're gonna fold that tab down towards the desk. Pull it back up, and let's put some glue right on there. Then bend it over, make sure that that piece is in there straight, lay that down and press on that tab. Okay, once you've got that done, we're gonna fold it up, make sure that it pops up and it does. We're going to put glue or tape on this front tab that has the F. I hope this is making sense. It's a lot easier to explain it than to, or to do it than to explain it. We're gonna fold it now on this bottom crease right here and fold it flat. That tab is folded under and we're gonna press it. So when it pops open, there's your front piece. Okay, when we lay it down, we'll fold that up again. Now we're gonna take our middle piece, has the M on it, and we are gonna glue it to this tab piece right here, just this middle piece, not the front where that other tab is. And we're gonna lay it so that it's facing the same direction as that first piece was. So I'm just gonna put glue. If you can see this, I'm gonna hold it up really close. There's like a T-bar, you don't wanna put um, glue on this T-bar. You just want to put it on this piece right here. And then we're going to lay it down flat and we're going to glue it. Whoops, I'm not on the camera. We're going to glue it so that it's just on this piece right here. This is really hard to see with the black paper. Just line it up right in the middle. The T, the top of the T-bar should go right up against the edge of that. Now I moved it. I'm not gonna mess with it. But it should go right up along with that. So there is the first half of that. Now we're going to flip it back over again and we're gonna take our bottom piece and we're gonna flip it over backwards and we're gonna put it through this slot. And you'll know that it's in right because both of the B's, although they're backwards, are facing the same direction. Does that make sense? They're facing towards the left. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna flip it over. We're going to fold it on that first 
score line, not where the tab is, but on that first score line, flip it over. Then you're gonna take this tab and you're gonna fold it on the score line and then glue it. Okay, now we're going to take this, whoops, my glue came off. I didn't put very much glue on there. Let's try it one more time. So you're gonna fold it over the second line and that tab is actually underneath there. Okay. Then we're gonna take glue and we're gonna put it right there on that tab. My mat is, and then we're gonna take this bottom piece and fold it up and just press. Okay, so then when that opens up, opens up like that. Okay, next we want to fold those pieces down and we're going to put glue or tape on that middle piece right there. And I'm just going to use my tape runner. Fold it over and we're going to match those two middle pieces right there together. I'm trying to work around the camera. I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. And press them. Then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put tape on this tab and fold it in and match that up right there. that up. Now that card is done and it pops open like that to display and then you just push it down to close it up. And you're going to have to work the card a couple of times to get it trained to do what you want it to do. And that is all there is to that pop-up card. Isn't that just such a fun card? And it would be so fun to mail. Now, like I said, I've got some envelopes that I'm working on and they should be available in the next day or two to fit these pop-up cards because I do have more pop-up cards in the works as well. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed these projects. I hope you'll give at least one of them a try. Go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.